I'm uh, Manuel Schenkhuizen. I come from the Netherlands, and my gamer name is Grubby. So, Grubby, I understand you were at the Blizzard World Championships in China. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, uh, in 2012, Blizzard held a tournament series called the World Championship Series. It was three-tiered. You had the national level, the regional, and the international. I won the national one in the Netherlands. I got top six in the regional, so I qualified for the world and at BWC in the world. Uh, yeah, it was in Shanghai and I played there as well. Okay, so I understand, we're playing StarCraft 2, so how did you get involved and what, do you, what is it exactly about StarCraft 2 that you love about this game? On well, my uh, real-time strategy game, this is the genre that I'm playing, uh, my real-time strategy career started 10 years ago. I'm 27 now. When I was 17, I started with uh, uh, the first RTS that I played. I played it for seven years and it was running down its tournament lifespan and StarCraft 2 was the next big thing. And that's why I switched to StarCraft three years ago. So how did you end up getting involved in esports? Uh, well, I was playing the first strategy game that I was playing, Warcraft 3, not to be confused with World of Warcraft. Um, and I was pretty good at it and I was doing well in tournaments and that's kind of how I gradually found out about esports. Okay, so how have you seen Red Bull jump into this whole esports game? Oh, Red Bull has been starting to embrace esports as a new thing, as a new industry, a new sport, as something which people compete in. And even though it's you know different than traditional sports, a lot of the same elements come, ba uh, come back into uh, esports. The same competition, preparation, uh, just everything, the mindset. So I think that Red Bull recognizes that this is a fast-growing industry, and and they wanted to get behind it and support it, which I think is really cool. Okay, well, speaking of preparation and what you do to get ready for a game, what is the secret to your success as a top player? Mm, I think two things set me apart, probably. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not necessarily the fastest player, but I think two things set me apart. My ability to prepare for certain opponents, mm -hmm. uh, to out-strategize people, mm -hmm. and I like the aspect of the game the most, which is about the micromanagement and the control. So. The being very meticulous in the fights. It's what I enjoy the best, and I think uh, I handle it pretty well uh, compared to some players. But of course, I also have my weaknesses. So I try to make these two things work for me. Okay, so what are your thoughts on the growing popularity of League of Legends in the whole esports world? I think it's really good because we need different kinds of games to appeal to different kinds of demographics and, uh, you know, it's really good whenever any part of esports grows because uh, I want esports to get really big. I want people in the world to know about esports so that when I you know, meet any stranger and I say you know, I'm a professional gamer, that they know what I'm talking about. Uh, I think it's an uh, industry of the future, a sport of the future. So League of Legends is a little bit more casual. There's also a team uh, aspect. Um, so I think it is more accessible to a lot of people. And maybe some of those people will also get interested in watching uh, StarCraft 2. So purely egotistically speaking for the StarCraft 2 <laughs> audience, it's good to have League of Legends around as well. And obviously it's nice that a lot of people are having a lot of fun playing and watching League of Legends as well.